Just Scott Dorval. My name is McKaylee. I'm a fourth grader at Amity Elementary, and my mother question is, um, what's a tsunami and how does it form? Great question, McKaylee, from Amity Elementary. We've been uh, focusing on Amity Elementary all week long. One more question coming up tomorrow. She's asking about tsunamis and how they form, and unfortunately, a very serious subject that had huge implications, of course, in Japan. A familiar, just amazing picture of the water pouring over the barrier that was protecting uh, portions of Japan here, and the water flowing on in. Tsunamis are connected to earthquakes, unfortunately. So when you get a powerful earthquake, over the ocean, basically under the ocean, I should say, that's when you're likely to have the biggest problems. And again, you see tremendous devastation like this when they occur. So exactly what is happening when this occurs? Well, when the earthquake occurs on the ocean floor, here's the fault line here. When an earthquake occurs, it's not a crack that opens up. It's a jolting of the, of the, of the two plates like this. There's a lot of friction going on between these plates, and they're pushing, pushing, there's friction holding, and finally it just pops like this. And so what happens is you get a jolting, and that sends a surge of energy up, which is just like if you took a stone and throw it into the water, you see that ripple effect from disturbing the water. That's happening from down below, and so it sends that energy out, and these ripples will then go on towards shore, and when a wave, a tsunami is traveling over the ocean, it is very wide, very broad, and moving extremely rapidly across, uh, across the ocean uh, surface here. As it gets close to where the land comes up, the energy then starts to bulge, and you see the waves getting taller and taller, so the tsunami is not really noticeable over the ocean open ocean. A ship would barely even know that it's passing, but buoys can detect this occurring, and as it gets close to the land, the wave gets bigger and bigger, and that's generally what happens. The good news is that there's a tsunami warning center for Alaska and the western United States, and for the Japan earthquake, you see it right here. This chart was then printed on out. It shows the energy of where the water and energy would have been going from the tsunami tracking in the opposite direction. Of course, Japan right here getting hit almost immediately after the earthquake occurring, but everything sliding on off. Here's the United States coastline right here. And so we can predict it. So, uh, predict it. So, a great question from McKaylee from Amity Elementary School about tsunamis and how they form. Let's get back.